Hello, hello everyone. Tommy Girl with you once again for another episode of Let's Play Star Wars yes. Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. In the last episode, we fought the HK unit and his magical flying balls. So anyway, let us let us continue on to the Harbinger and see what's going on here. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You sense no one on board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> That's what I hear from Atten. But we are going to actually appease Atten at this point. There's a specific reason we have for doing so. Atten's right. We need to get off the ship. Oh, and go where? If the assassin machine was correct, then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. Hmm. I saw this vessel dock. When it did, a fuel pipe entered the fuel depot behind the force field. Look, I don't mean to cast another shadow on this. But even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. Hmm. Why don't we steal this ship? Oh, you mean with the huge crew we brought along with us? That's a brilliant idea. Crabby, crabby. All right. I don't want to argue. We need a solution. We need a course of action, not division in our ranks. Otherwise, this ship will be our last stand. Wait, how did the ship dock here? Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Navi computer. They'd have to. Hmm. I think we can get there. Anybody see any problems with getting to the Navi computer? Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Let us go. All right, here we go. Now that we have a party, certain actions and dialogue responses will increase or decrease your influence with your companions, depending on their personality. Some respect cruelty, while others respect nobility, loyalty, cleverness, brute force, and so on. Well, I don't remember the description being that... Uh, detailed when it came to this, but that could be something they added. Um, the higher your influence with a companion, the more your alignment affects theirs. An extreme high and low influence of the companion can open up additional dialogue choices. There are benefits to both, so treat them as you will. Our enemies gather while we wait here. Hmm. Atten's plan was a good one. Let's head to the bridge and get the drift charts. All right, but this won't end well. Trust me. Oh, so the bad thing is we get light side points from that. Um, the good thing is we get influence from Atten, which was the reason why I was being kind of suck up in that conversation, as much as I kind of wanted to tell Atten to shut, shut his face. Um, there, I, I'm definitely going to be doing a, a playthrough where I'm trying to really gain the influence of my party and sort of manipulate them as I will. So occasionally we will take light side hits. If I played that a little differently, I probably could have just gotten neutral, but... We'll be fine on dark side points. We're not worried in that regard. Um, if you answer it differently and you say uh, you want to, um, like, if you say you want to follow Kreia's plan, you'll get influence with her. The thing is, I find she's pretty easy to get influence with early in the game, and a lot of her influence comes from dialogue. Uh, with Anton, he's a little trickier to get um, influence with, and you get more out of him from influence. So I'm going to be trying to influence him early without losing too much influence with Kreia. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll 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 talk more about that as it goes as we as it goes on this game. But I really enjoy the influence system a lot, and I enjoy um, playing Dark Side. We'll, we're going to be uh, manipulating people a great deal in this playthrough, and um, the more influence we gain with our party, the more we'll affect their alignment, uh, Kreia being the only exception. So, anyway. Wow! Look at all the bodies! Creepy! Yeah, this is the um, 
the area we saw in the cutscene uh, a while back when we saw this thing dock. Uh, we can look at this stuff. Let's try to get the charts. Cool. We got that. Alright, we got some logs, so let's check those out. We have taken on passengers to Telos. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low-stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Hmm. Alright. Report. The Sith warship is empty, sir. We attached an umbilical and sent three strike teams through it, and there's no sign of a crew or its commander. There's no one on board? What about the escape pods? They're still in their berth, sir. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty, too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beamed to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort, but we'll find out. Hmm. Alright, let's, uh, check out the log about the survivors. Everyone in the Evan Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. Hmm. Interesting. Emergency report. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. Send a security team to MedLab, now! Now, maybe I'm being over, over like, analytical about what could be in the, the added content, but I don't remember a lot of these logs up here. I remember some of the information being expressed by, by like, the medbay stuff that you can run into, which I, I might have either skipped or we haven't hit it yet. But I don't remember. I don't remember some of that information being uh, shown at this point. So uh, that could that could be an addition. All right, creepy, creepy. All these dead bodies and ugh, we're not. We don't know if they're dead. Could be dead. Oh, my awareness is telling me that something's up. Let's wound him. Wound him! Yeah! Now... Cut him. Oh wait, no, this person. Or, or the, oh, wow, we are... Jeez. We just completely sliced down those guys. No problem. That, they did not get the leg up on us. Because even though they're being sneaky, see that's how bad stealth is in this game. Okay, <laughs> real life, you could have just stabbed me. It seemed like it seemed it probably should have worked, but no. Ooh, we got stuff to open. Let's try our security. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> credits wouldn't have mattered if we bashed that anyway. We credit probably uh, maybe we get the credits anyway. Only the items break. Oh, cool. Double-bladed sword. Ooh. That's cool. A Mandalorian melee shield. Excellent. Yay, components. So basically, we're gonna run into more of those assassins at some point. We just haven't yet. Oh, there you are. There you are. Uh, let's fear you. Yeah. Fear the fluffy bunny. Fallen. Fear me. Bam. 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 <laughs> yeah, the reason why we're doing so much damage is, um, you know, the Kraya's, uh, passive about, um, about the, the sharing force powers. You said we didn't use any force powers, and I was actually 
worried before that I was going to be spoiling something, saying that uh, you share powers. But, because the game doesn't really tell you that's a thing until a little bit later. But, it seems to be a, um, a passive that actually is, is present from the beginning, along with the extra experience you gain with having her in your party. And, uh, it's a pretty useful passive. Uh, probably the most useful passive, I'd say, out of any character. But, um... I find later in the game it's not needed, but early game it's so useful, and it's it's not even a bad thing ever. There are just third downsides to having Kraya in your party as well, and we'll talk about that more. But uh, she's pretty tough, and she gives us free abilities for just having her around. All right, so we went all the way to that dead end. Yep. So let's try going. Let's try going up this way. Low security door. We got this. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's, it's it's my it's my riveting commentary, by the way. I hear you. All right, so we've got armor now, and uh, the nice thing is Anton's jacket that he's got gives us stats, uh, adds to saves, gives him defense. Um, and we can't equip the battle armor anyway, but uh, the nice thing is you kind of have a little bit of armor just just for having him around. And obviously we can't equip uh, the battle armor on Crit either. We can give her a miner's uniform. Might as well. It gives her a little bit extra defense. I forgot about that. Unlock it, please. Bam, bam. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, hello. Hello, I see you. I see you because my awareness isn't terrible. Alright, let's do fear. Is there another guy here? It's for you too. Why not? Oh, you're dead. Never mind. All right. Bye. Oh my goodness. There's a lot of these guys though. I think we're getting some stuns from at using um, the sneak attack. I'm guessing that's where some of those stuns are coming from. Cause I don't think anyone else can really do major stuns. Although Kraya, do you have, like push or something yeah. that I give you? What did I give you? Oh, I can't tell. I can't tell right here. I can't remember off the top of my head what I gave her. She, I might have given her push. I think sometimes push can stun. Wait. We haven't found T3 yet, have we? I guess we I think we find him later. I have no idea what happened to him. Well, I guess we'll find out. I hear you. Oh, briefing logs. Whoa, look at all these. All right, let's check them out. We've been diverted from Onderon to the Outer Rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. Hmm, interesting. So you find out a little bit about what's kind of going on in the galaxy from here. Cool. Alright, passenger transport. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within 10 standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of her identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Whoever this passenger is, she's got diplomatic level priority, whether she knows it or not. Hmm. Sounds like they're talking about us. We were on, we were on this thing at some point? Thought we were on the Ebon Hawk. That's a little confusing. Anyway. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. Hmm. Interesting. 
Priority overrun. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there is a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter. Did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our data banks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it recovered. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that she reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure she arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Seed, out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I am always being kept in the d Query! You sent for me, oh, Captain. Oh, it's you. Yes, I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything she needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. Her safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. So, it seems like, and by the way, I think something was added to that last log because his voice, one of the actor's voices changed pretty abruptly in the middle. But, um, with the mod I think something was changed. But I think what happened is we were aboard this ship, HK was aboard this ship, he smuggled us onto the Ebonhawk, and then the Ebonhawk crashed and stuff. That's what it seems like to me. But, uh... Interesting. But yeah, that, that voice change was, was a little bit abrupt. <laughs> I was like, wait, huh? I probably wouldn't have noticed otherwise. But it's probably additional stuff, I would think, that the developers wanted in there. Alright. More looting. Oh, oh, I see you. I see you. Saved. Well, that's no fun at all. Let's try it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, we leveled up. Sweet. Oh, we are so dead. Dude. We're just chewing through these guys like nobody's business. Alright. More persuade. Um. Awareness would be nice to have more of. Five security should be enough for now. Yeah, that's good. Beats. More force focus. What does that give us? Let's check that out. Adds plus three to the difficulty class while saving throws against the for uh, character's force powers. Oh, that means so, like, characters trying to resist our force powers and things. Um, it's tougher. Like, our fears and things like that. Cool. That's really helpful. Can we get some kind of uh, regen things, feet-wise? I would also like to get two weapon fighting at some point. Uh, that would be useful. But not necessary. Here we go. Regenerate force points. Also having faster vitality uh, is, is really nice too. But I'm going to go with force points first. Just so we can start using our powers a little bit more during longer fights. I'm going to take dominant, Dominate Mind because everybody loves it. <laughs> oh, we can get the next level of fear already. Horror. Excellent. That's a very useful power. Good. I was thinking about taking heal, but I think I'm gonna give that to Kraya next time she levels up. Oh, I thought we were done. Oh, there's a guy back there. Hi! Oh, look at you! Aren't you adorbs? Alright, horror. Yeah! It has begun! Oh, you're so dead! Oh, killing you. Killing you just made my moment. It made it so happy. Okay, so now that we've unlocked that, this should be the end of this area. Yes. Alright, anyway, I think this will be a good spot to leave off the episode, so I'll see you guys later.